It's time for This Week in Democratic Politics, Closing the Deal edition. I'm your host, Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. Don't have much time, gotta get started here. Look, there's a lot to cover here, and, uh, you know, uh, stay with me, because uh, th- this stuff's important. Let me just start off with the news. Trump subpoenaed all of his records related to January 6th, now due by November 4th. That's going to be fun to watch him worm his way out of. And quite frankly, the phone records are going to be given to him by the phone companies. There's just no way for Donald Trump to get out of this one, which makes me laugh. They've also specifically cited in the subpoena all of the messages from Signal, okay? This is the uh, encrypted um, uh, message board uh, bullshit that ought to be illegal for government officials to use, but of course, Trump and all of his little minions are crooked as a day is long. Fortunately for us, they're also stupid, and that is why we're pretty sure they didn't use their Signal right, and we think we can get their stuff out of their phones. Talking to you, Steve Bannon and Roger Stone and... Uh, Several others were listed. This is going to be fun to watch. Student debt relief is coming to all Americans. Right now, you can get online and sign up uh, for your uh, $10,000 or $20,000 student debt relief and, you know, take away some of those bills that are hurting everybody so severely. The payments are going to be a little less. Liz Truss is out as PM in the UK. Be sure to watch my uh, Liz video because its predictions turned out to be right. Right now, it looks like they're going to try to bring back Boris just like I said they would. Liz Truss was just, you know, meat to the jackals so they could show how bad it would be if it was anybody but Boris. So now, fucking Boris. Wow. The Tories are pathetic, the Tories are ridiculous, and they're easily predictable. And anybody who didn't see this coming does not pay attention to reality. In other news... Steve Bannon is going to jail. He's going to get four months in a federal prison for failing to speak to Congress when he was ordered to do so. So that's hilarious. Just a little sidebar. Fuck you, Steve Bannon. Anyway, a little, uh, little tidbit about the polls, you know. Um, uh, polls are full of shit. And you know this because of President Hillary Clinton. Remember how well she was doing in the polls. Polls don't mean dick, y'all. And Nate Silver has served us up a doozy, as he does weeks before every single election. No, no, no. Here's who's actually going to win. And he gets it fucking wrong. My God. Is it that the guy can't do math, or does he not know how to do polling? I don't know. But I don't see this going anywhere. Quite frankly, y'all, I think we got this locked up, but do not be complacent. Don't be disillusioned. People are hurting out there. And the Democrats need to close this deal. And it's on every single one of us to talk to your friends, talk to your neighbors, talk to your coworkers, and don't talk about some abstract bullshit, uh, you know, about, you know, international relations when it comes to Putin and, you know, whatever. We need to talk to people the way FDR talked to people. He went to the farmer. He went to the store owner. To the, to the, not just to the, the guy that owned the store, but to the guy that worked behind the counter. You talk to the regular people about their regular issues. Regular people, regular problems, their bills, their children. That's what people care about. And Democrats can deliver on that. Republicans could never, they have never, they will never. Sidebar, when speaking about FDR, let me just remind everybody that FDR was also subpoenaed to come before Congress after he was president. And you know what he said about that? After he testified, he said, for I am just a regular U.S. citizen and it is my duty to help the United States government in any way I can. I'm happy to testify. That's a Democrat. What do Republicans say? Fake news. Yeah, we solve a lot of problems. People are hurting, okay? And the American people have greater problems. They need to feed their children. They need to pay their bills. And it's getting difficult out there. That's why such things as student debt relief is so important for millions of Americans. We need Joe Biden. 
And we need to tell people why we need Joe Biden and remind them of all the things that we've done. How many jobs have been created with the infrastructure bill alone? People who didn't have a job now have a job. The reality is it's the lowest unemployment in American history, except for World War II. My God, y'all. Joe Biden knows what he's doing and we have to remind him of that. Things will get better, but we cannot allow Republicans to bring us down again. All they want to do is massive tax cuts for their incredibly rich donors and oil companies. And that's what they're going to do. That's what they always do. Hell, that's why Liz Truss lost her premiership. Because the stupid fucking bitch immediately announced massive tax cuts for all of her rich donors. And it blew up the British economy. That's what Republicans are going to do. Remind them of that. It's time to close the deal. And if they just happen to have a woman in their life, or a daughter specifically, as I do, remind them in the last moments that abortion's gone when Lindsey Graham passes his bill. It's time to close the deal. We need Republicans out. We can do this. We're going to win. We have to make it happen. Democrats, get it done. And vote early. Vote often, as they used to say. Get out there and make it happen. Call your local Democratic Party and see if they need people to, you know, shuttle people to the polls. They can't ban that. They're going to try, but they can't. We can make this happen, y'all. And we can be done with the Republicans for a generation. It's time to close the deal. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. Y'all take it easy.